Want to know how to deal with every type of malfunction with just one hotkey? Watch this video and I'll show you how. Today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the new malfunctions and show you one simple trick to deal with them all. If you didn't know, in patch 12.12, .12, BSG implemented new weapon malfunctions and overheating, which has changed how gunplay works massively. You can't just mag dump infinitely without issue anymore. Let's go over what they've added. You can pause at any point to read through the patch notes if you're interested, but I'll skip through most of it and just tell you what you need to know. First up, malfunctions. In addition to the misfire or jam that you used to get, they've added three new malfunction types. Failure to eject, failure to feed, and jammed bolt. None of this is important to know since you can fix them all the same way, but the only thing you need to be aware of here is the jammed bolt. This one has two types of jam, easy and hard. The only difference being is the amount of time it takes to fix them. The other cool thing they've added is overheating. In short, overheating will cause malfunctions if you don't control how much you mag dump. There are several different stages to overheating. As you can see on screen now, it is worth reading through this just so you can understand the damage and defects your gun will receive. But to sum it up, if you don't let your gun cool down between shots, your accuracy will decrease, malfunction chance increases, durability loss increases, the weapon's maximum durability decreases, and the fire rate slows down until you eventually reach the maximum stage of overheating where you receive a malfunction. Along with overheating, a bunch of attachments have been given new stats, heating and cooling. And this is bound to change up the meta of how we build our guns. Certain attachments like suppressors increase heat a lot more and some reduce it. The cooling stat I believe is the time it takes to cool down after the gun heats up. Another thing worth knowing is the different types of ammo will increase heat more or less. Generally speaking though, the larger the round, the more heat it will create. The last of the new stats is the failure to feed. Larger mags have an increased chance to fail a feed. This is a considerable nerf to big mags, which again reduces the amount of giga chads that we see mag dumping in fights. So realistically, as long as you're not mag dumping huge mags, you shouldn't run into malfunctions that often. All right, now you know all the essentials, let's have a look at some of the cooler stuff in game. First up, when you get a malfunction, it gives you the option to hot swap to a pistol, and it's pretty quick. Now you also might have noticed that I had a red flash in the bottom right of my screen when I got a malfunction. This is a new UI feature that helps maintain the immersion of receiving a malfunction. If you remember previously, we had a text box pop up in the bottom right. This flash works as a three stage traffic light system. Red means you've got a problem that needs investigating. Yellow means you've found the issue and it needs to be fixed. Green means you're ready to fire again. So Lou, how do we fix everything with one simple keybind? I'm glad you asked. So let's jump into the control settings real quick. And there's two things we need to set up here. Firstly, the chamber check slash fix malfunction button. Set that to whatever you want and make sure the press type is on press. Secondly, inspect current weapon. Make sure this is on the same key as check chamber, but make sure it's set to release. Now, whenever you have a malfunction, all you need to do is press that one hotkey and it'll inspect the issue. Then press the same hotkey again to fix it. Simple, right? My preference is to put it on H because it's convenient for me to press, but you can put it on whatever you like, really. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please do let me know down in the comments, and I'll catch you in the next one.